Hello everyone, welcome to my newest video. Uh, in this video I have a brand new product that I think you're all going to really like. Um, I have my friend Helen in Canada, Helen Froisi. Uh, hope I'm saying your last name correctly, Helen. She brought me the the site where these are made and asked if I could get them. And immediately when I saw them, I said, oh boy, we're really going to like these. They're called Geo Dyes. And what they are, are they are dyes that make the Incire, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I-N-C-I-R-E, and the Lace, L-A-C-E dyes. Um, that we used to have to, they were stencils before they were dyes, and we used to have to cut them or make pencil lines and cut them with our X-Acto knives or the special knives that came with the kit, and they were really hard to make, and if you didn't line them up exactly, they'd come out a little bit crooked. Well, now we have these wonderful dyes, and it makes it so much easier. Uh, I think if you're a fan of these, you definitely need to pick some of these up. The first one I'm showing you is geo dye number one and this is how the die comes you cut it just like you would any other um, of the thin dies in your machines and then what this one makes when it's all done and after it's cut out is you get that lovely um, image right there with the images tucked in and folded over and I'll show you the back because sometimes people like to see well what's the back look like and that is what the back looks like and it just makes so much work and you see how it even cuts around the edges so you have that edge all cut up with it and I'm going to let's see kinda just bring that up close so you can kinda see how nicely that cuts very beautiful now I'm going to show you die number two right here Let's telescope in on that. Okay, and die number two makes this lovely image right here. And the idea with using the geo dies is have one side of the paper different than the other. So if you have a white back paper, add some color to it with your brayer, or maybe if you have some glimmer mist or any other medium that you'd like to add some color to and that would really make some pretty designs. You have to kind of use your imagination but it's nice to have a contrasting color. Now what I did with this die is I want to show you how easy it is to kind of just do this. Um, here's one that I've cut and it is not anything done to it yet just this is how it comes right off the machine and then they have this little ruler here and what you do with this ruler is you simply you simply tuck it in under the big flap and under the little one kinda like that and you fold over and it's as simple as that and let's do well let's see if we have time to do them all so I can quickly show you how easy this is in case you've never done this before these are definitely some fun dies you want to add to your collection and again you see how the underside of this is kind of like got a greenish tinge to it. it might be hard to see but you just keep folding that this ruler makes a big difference it's simply a thin piece of metal if you have something similar at home you might be able to use that then we get to our last one and then what you do is you simply um, well what they recommend and it, it is a nice tool I will give I will give them that I'm glad I bought one and I will have a few of these for sale and I can always get more you just run it over and that kind of flattens it and it makes it kind of easier and then you just tuck just like this just tuck right in And then this last one, you would glue this side, stick a piece of scrap paper under here, add your adhesive, and glue it down. That easy. See how quickly we did that? And beautiful accent to any card. And then you can take your little roller again, and this helps flatten it. Just flatten it like that. Okay. We have two more 
there's more coming for those of you who know you're going to love these and want these. Um, I will get more in depending if I sell these. Sometimes I think something's going to be a hit and it's a dud, but I don't think these, I think these will be a good hit. And there we go. That is geodie number three. And that makes this lovely die right here. Now what would really be nice is your small, um, the small stamped images you could put in there, like your Just Right Stampers or anything circular. Beautiful. Again, some people like to see the back of things. What's that look like backwards? Right there. Again, this one was very easy. And then we jump up. It was just the way they made it in production and was sent to me. This is Geodie number 10, right here. This is a really nice one, and I thought, kind of reminds me of a star. So I did it in some Christmas colors. I had some paper that was um, green on one side and red on the other. And that really made a nice image, I think. Kind of looks very much like a quilt. But that would make a beautiful card just in itself with an, a simple, you know, um, uh, sentiment right here. And then, of course, if it were me, <laughs> I would add some pearls or some rhinestones because I add those to everything. Um, unless I was sending it far away and it might crush up in the mail. But again, the back, in case for those of you who want to see what the back looks like, there we go. Well, please visit my blog to get the pricing on all the items. And like I said, I will be getting more of these. Um, there, I think, are, I think there are 11 total. Don't quote me on that. Or 11 coming, and possibly if they do well, the company, they'll even make more, which would be great if we could get some of the advanced designs in that are so nice. But again, if you're a fan of Insir or Lace, again, correct me on my blog if I'm wrong, um, you've got to get these dies. The pricing will be on my blog, and just zip me an email with your order. And also, with all orders, please. Uh, include your zip code and your PayPal email. I do only take PayPal, but if you don't have a PayPal account, you can still pay me through your PayPal. PayPal is my server. You do not need to have a PayPal account to pay me. You can just log on to PayPal and pay with your credit card. Uh, anything else I want to tell you? Um, I guess that's it. I Have a wonderful day. Uh, feel free to leave comments on my blog and hope you enjoy these dyes as much as I do. Bye-bye.